Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Silver Dot International. Some of you already have seen this silver rider in my best silver coin tube, which was uh, started by Square Coin Man, but I didn't go into much detail about it. The Dutch silver rider finds its origin in the Italian Scudo d'Argento, which was produced first in Milan in 1551 and translated means silver shield. This type of coin spread throughout Europe and would be produced by different countries varying in size, weight and silver percentage. In 1618 the first Ducaton was introduced in the Spanish Netherlands, weighed 32.48 grams and depicted the effigies of Albrecht of Austria and his wife Isabel of Spain. The value of the Ducaton was set at 63 stivers, and to give an idea, this would be approximately 315 cents, or a bit more than 3 guilders. It was the heaviest silver coin produced in the Netherlands at the time, and had a composition of 0.944 fine silver. Starting from 1659, the Dutch Republic would also mint Ducatons in their northern provinces with a weight of 32.779 grams and a composition of 0.941 fine silver. The actual silver content from the start would be 30.85 grams or almost one troy ounce of pure silver. The image of a standing knight was chosen for the Dutch silver and gold ducats and a mounted knight was chosen to be the image on the obverse of the Ducatons, hence the name Silver Rider, which is also used for the Dutch Silver Ducatons. The purpose of the Silver Ducaton was intended to be of the same value as a Golden Dutch Ducat, and just to show how much the Silver to Gold ratio has drifted apart during the centuries. The melt value today of a historical silver Ducaton is between the 25 and 26 US dollars, whereas the melt value of a Dutch golden Ducat would be something like 190 dollars. But luckily for me, this specific type of Ducaton has quite a historical numismatic worth, and I bought it at a relative good price. The numismatic value is at least equal to the melt value of Dutch gold Ducat and is estimated between 225 and 275 US dollars. The reason for the high value is because Ducatons, like mentioned, being one of the heaviest historical Dutch silver coins, it also has a very special deviation to it and because it's also in a very good condition still. The mounted knight, although a bit worn, is visible with a sword, sash, and underneath the horse, the West Frisian coat of arms are legible and visible to see. The lettering is uh, readable, which in Latin abbreviation states Mo no arg confu belg pro West Frisiae, that in English translates as New Silver Money of the United Netherlands Provinces, Region West Frisia. For a better understanding of the special place that West Frisia holds within the province of Holland and the Dutch Republic, I'm going to refer to my video of the 1678 Dutch ship shilling where I explain this. So for me personally, it doesn't only has an numismatic worth, but also an emotional value being minted in my own area. And just look at this edge, this is what is called a cable edge. And you can see it's largely intact. One of the major reasons for the high value of this coin. The other side is also still in good condition with a readable text, namely Crescunt Concordia Res Parve, and that in English translates to strength through unity. The Dutch lions are standing proud next to the general weapon of the Netherlands. The crowns on their heads and manes on their legs are clearly visible. But the most interesting thing on this side is a deviation. I know it's hard to, to see, so I'll just uh, tell you what it is. There's something up with the date of the year. And when we look at the year of uh, 1790 a bit more closely, we can see that the 9 also consists of an 8. In other words, this is an overstrike date. And what is meant with an overstruck date or coin? Usually this means that either an existing coin has been struck with a newer stamp, or that an existing stamp has been modified. The latter is the case with this overstruck year of 7080 by the year of 7090. 
I'm honored to have presented such a gorgeous Silver Rider to you all and hope you've enjoyed this presentation about it. Wishing everybody much strength in these difficult times, happy stacking, collecting or cooking. Take care my friends.